Welcome back to day 23, the 23rd day of Ramadan. Crazy, I have a little meowing cat just next to me over here. But how are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope your day is going amazing. We are just about to head off to... Where are you going, mister? Are you coming with us? We are just about to head down to the post office now. Sending all my Eid gifts off um, quite early so then they can receive it obviously by Eid inshallah. So right now, right next to me is just... There's quite a lot of Eid gifts here as you guys can see. So in my um, bag I've got like parcels I need to send off and then I'm going to drop all of these Eid gifts off as well. So I've got these gifts, that gift. So yeah, there's quite a lot of gifts to send off. And we have this, Mr. Handsome. You're gonna say good morning. You're gonna say good morning. Yeah, give them kisses. <laughs> I was just saying to Adel how odd it's gonna be this year, like sending Eid gifts off to family rather than obviously seeing family like Tough face to face. Time, it? It's so sad because like, usually, I don't know about everyone else's routine, but every year, this is our routine. We wake up obviously have your each hour and then what we do is we go to the mosque for Eid prayer so obviously we have our abaya we're like a fancy like nice posh abaya then we go to Eid prayer and then after that we go home and get changed into our Eid clothes and then we go straight to my mom's house because my mom makes such a huge um like feast so like so many different things and then we all get together eat breakfast together and then we like just have like a little party exchange gifts take pictures like it's so full on and then like usually lunchtime we go down to adults families and then um your mom usually makes us like biryani and stuff and then we just chill again like take pictures and stuff so it's gonna feel so odd this eat not to have anyone next to us so we made a promise to each other that we would make it special just the two of us because you know we have to just make it just that little bit special because Matt, you know what? it's gonna be so weird just waking up and like just have like a normal day I don't want that to happen so we're gonna hopefully fingers crossed make it special just for the two of us this year <laughs> it's so sad I literally just got all the gifts here to send off but never know miracles might happen we might be able to I doubt it that no not by the end of Ramadan it's just it's not gonna be under Ramadan. We have like what seven days left, or six days. Cheers, man. Cheers, man, for the post office. Okay, we're gonna go in and we will catch up with you guys once we have done everything. Okay, you guys, we are home now. Today we have a cleaning up day. I don't know about you guys, but we have we usually like just have one day where we just clean everything at home, and today is well and truly going to be that day. Uh, but first and foremost, we are going to start with the garden. Now, we haven't been in the garden in a couple of days because obviously it's been really chilly and windy Hello. and everything under the sun. So we are going to give the garden a good tidy. Um, if you guys have turf, then I would recommend hoovering because hoover is so good. It obviously take up the branches that's fallen. But if you have any like little bits, you can just hoover it up and then Bob's your uncle and you're pretty much done. Okay, Babe, we're going gonna to pray first. Okay. There's something that she's gonna go up. I know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna hoover um, the turf, just organize the garden, make it look cute. Yeah, because brush down a bit. Yeah, for the next couple of days, I think the next couple of days are gonna be quite um, warm and sunny. I know next Wednesday is gonna be 25 degrees in Leicester. What? Yeah, so it's gonna be quite warm for the next couple of days. So we're gonna make sure the garden's nice and tidy and organized. And then I have a bunch of like washing to do. So I have, I don't know how there's a lot of washing with us too. There's only two of us, but yeah. We seem to accumulate quite a lot of washing. I guess we just enjoy fresh clothes, but yeah. Um, I got a Hoover interview. I have to like clean the kitchen, the bathroom. So um, yeah, guys, it's gonna be one of them days where it's just gonna be fire, cleaning. But oh my god, yeah, we just came back and I just dropped all the gifts off to like my, my family and my sisters and all of that. So it's lovely seeing them for like a short what five ten minutes, just chit chat catching up on the day see what everyone's been up to in lockdown but yeah oh my god when we were out i feel like everyone was out like everyone was just chilling oh. out with no masks on or anything oh. like that and i'm like oh my god come on guys just because boris johnson 
obviously has allowed like unlimited like exercise and stuff to go out doesn't mean you don't go out and be safe you have to be safe you have to take your precautions so yeah. yeah definitely keep that in mind hello sir you wanted to come here and give me cuddles you want to give me cuddles and love this cat is a very needy cat he loves cuddles he loves just being stroked it's so funny isn't it yeah. like when we wake up in the morning he's literally our alarm clock because he'll literally be outside like meowing we're waiting for his breakfast because he's not fasting is he eh? okay so um i think we're just gonna get crack on because i really don't want to do the garden but <laughs> we're gonna have to do it because we've been putting it off for the last couple of days but today is gonna be that day where we actually um actually do it so yeah wish us good luck guys trying to sing for you guys all right okay we are gonna make some scones some british scones this one i haven't had scones in literally so long so um oh, i fancy it you know when you fancy it with a good cuppa like it's needed in it do you mind <laughs> so yeah that's what we're gonna do fix right now here. fix yourself look sharp so yeah, that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna make some ooh, sunlight. Where are you at? Yeah, so we're gonna make some scones. And I'm so excited to make them like, like, is it me or my eyes look so light right now? Look at that. Oh, Michelle, there, Michelle. Oh, I think I'm pulling muscle on my chest. Oh. Were you waking up or something? Or are you just getting old? No, I've slept funny. It really hurts, man. Oh, Habibi, wallah. Do you care, my darling? Do you? Do you? Do you, Habibi? Do you? Another kiss for the vlog. Well, aren't they lucky, eh? Hey, okay, you guys. So it's so easy to make scones, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. It's so straightforward. I've done my prep already. So, um, so basically. All you need is 500 grams of self-raising flour. You need 150 grams of unsalted butter. You need a pinch of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of baking powder. And then you pop it in here like so. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just mix it and kind of fold it with my hands. And I'm gonna show you guys that now. If you guys are wondering what Adol is doing behind me, he is prepping his shisha because he fancies shisha today or whatever. So he's making himself some shisha. But I am going to just literally fold together the whole combination with the salt, the butter and the soft raisin flour to make a dough. And Bob's your uncle. You can add anything inside that you want. If you wanted to add dry fruits, if you wanted to add like some cheese or like cherries, whatever you fancy. I think we're gonna make some, <laughs> you can see silver in the background over there. We are just gonna make some basic um, British scones, just really simple and easy, because that's what we fancy, so let's go. Okay, you guys, so at 
Please ignore my scarf's gone all crazy. So at this you point, want once soy. You... you want the soy milk? No, just the normal milk that we have open, babe. So yeah, guys, once you've kneaded it down to its so, so it kind of looks like this, you just need to add a pinch splash of... Splash of milk. Yeah, so a splash of milk like so. And then we are going to just continue just kneading that. Can you pull my scarf up for me, please? Sure. Thank you. <coughs> hey, you need the money. It should look like this, kind of like a round ball. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for half an hour and uh, let it cool down a little bit and then we are gonna cut it and make shapes out of it and that's it guys. Okay you guys, so while that's basically doing its thing in the fridge, we are gonna go and prep our iftar now. So um, for iftar, I am having cheese and beans because I really fancy cheese and beans. I haven't, haven't had it since the beginning of Ramadan. So I'm gonna have cheese and beans and Adol is gonna have rice and chicken because that's what he fancies. Um, yeah, because we have leftover rice from yesterday. So he's just gonna cook his chicken in the pan. So that's what we're gonna have for iftar today. You excited, I? Yeah. Adol does his chicken like kind of like masala fried. So I got Nando's. What, Nando's poo poo? Yeah. So that's what he's gonna do to his chicken, and I am, but I am, oh my god, I can't speak. <laughs> <sighs> wow, okay, but I am just gonna have a basic cheese and beans, cause, you know, she basic or whatever, okay? She basic. I'm so excited for this scone, so I'll show you guys that um, after it comes out. As you guys can hear, there's a timer going in the background, just so I can make sure it's exactly half an hour, so. iftar time and please ignore the noise out there someone's doing the garden at this time like what is this anyways i have jack potato over here i'm so excited to dig in so this is my iftar we have some watermelon we have some cheese feta rolls some mayonnaise and then look at adol's big daddy plate hey okay? <laughs> chicken rice chicken rice looks amazing babe nando seasoned chicken mm -mm -mm. bismillah Look at the cheese, you guys. I was not messing around today, you know. Okay, you guys. So my scones are ready. They're ready to be popped in the oven for a good 15 minutes, I want to say. Um, before you pop it in, just glaze it with some egg or milk if you wanted to, or even olive oil. But I'm just going to glaze it with some milk and then pop it in the oven for 15 minutes. And then I will show you guys how it looks after it's pretty much baked. But oh my god, get ready for the most amazing scones ever. A few moments later. Okay guys, so here is the scones. They look so yummy. They've risen really, really well. So I'm going to let that set while we go for our daily walk. As you guys know, we usually go for a walk after iftar. But they look amazing. I can't wait to try them. Hey guys, so we are back from our half an hour walk. They have set so nice. Look at this, guys. They're so nice and soft. I'm gonna probably make this with some button jam now. Adults just doing up the shisha and then I think I'm gonna make us some tea to have with that. But yeah, that is it for today. I am gonna start editing this vlog. It's gonna take me literally forever. It's like half 10 now. Ah, it's literally go, go, go with this Ramadan. There's always like 101 things to do. It's just, yeah, it's a lot. 
anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog if you guys did don't forget to smash that thumbs up as always and i will leave a playlist down below for all of our ramadan's vlog from like day one to day 22nd in, in case you've missed any of the days but yeah guys i am gonna love you and leave you um i'm pretty shattered and i will catch up with you guys for day 24 of ramadan madness madness see ya